they unfollowed her. Who? Yeah. Um, Mitali, she was unfollowed by Fenty Beauty. Why? Maybe that's why the picture that's where was the taken, allegations come from. The picture was taken from the pe- uh, Fenty Beauty event that happened in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I you get. Know? And obviously, Fenty Beauty is all about skins. Alrighty. So, Buffetti, let's talk about last week's episode, man. Hey, sh- it was absolutely amazing. Did you guys see social media? Oh, social media is an amazing place to be at. <laughs> First and yeah. foremost. Because, like I said, I think on the last episode, I told you guys how mature I am now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I just wish everybody could learn from me because you can learn a lot from me. <laughs> but, again, I had to be from an observing perspective where I had to see people go at each other on the comment section. Yeah, it was crazy. And I love the fact that they were, you know, coming for each other. So I was like, okay, fine. We're good. Let them have fun, you know. Let them have an amazing time. No, but you don't go to the extent of calling our guest the hypocrite for telling the truth. But there's a thing. He did say that he trends a lot. But how do you know what the truth is? Because you said you don't even watch the show. I mean, he spoke about the BCCSA, and that was the answer for you guys to just understand that, of course, a lot of things are not going to be shown on TV because Mm -hmm. they need to comply. Exactly my point. But then why were some of them also coming for us for not correcting that? I mean, Singera, Petit. I think they said some of the (laughs) hosts. And when they said some of the hosts, they were actually talking about some of the hosts. The host, they didn't say some. Some of the hosts. Never. Why are you excluding yourself? Because. But nonetheless, man, I mean, beautiful episode, if we're being honest. Absolutely. That's absolutely. our biggest episode so far. So big shout out one time to Young Fabi. That, you know, like what last single grade one, who took the 10 out of 10 spelling test and then member about Rufa Star. That's what you just did now. Wow. What do you mean? Like, you just sounded like a teacher. No, you sounded like a teacher. And you reminded me of my primary school grade one teacher. I serve people. I'm a broadcaster, so technically I'm a teacher. And also, I'm hey. a two thousand. I would do one two K. Anyway, what's good? What's good, guys? Okay, I think I asked it already on the first episode. So I'm not. I'm not gonna ask again. Mm. But I would do my two K. Why my two K out of like we share my nineties before you come my twenties. But do you guys want to talk about that? It's a sub story, man. Let's leave it for, for another day. All right. Since we're leaving it for another day, what are we doing here? Okay, right. So first is first, let's introduce the show <laughs> before we get into the nitty gritties of, you know, today's episode. Yes. Welcome to the behind the scenes, everybody. Now you know <laughs> we're about to introduce the show. <laughs> What's good? What's popular, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Welcome to episode 13 of Adult Trends. My name is Joel Makivano. They call me Abuti. Wama two K. And I'm your guy, your one and only boy, Indonesia, the Levitator. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, U Big Jess, Small U, Big, Big Jess, Jess, forever and, and ever. ever. <laughs> Thank <Wee! laughs> I was waiting for this part. I was like, let me put my last out. <laughs> right, uh, guys, I missed you so much. It feels oh, it feels longer because we lost to each other like on the Friday. Ra- yeah. 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 yeah, actually, that's yeah, yeah, why. Yeah. But I just want to say you look very, very, very pretty. Thank you. As per you. No, you. she's she's always yes. looking beautiful. Just wish we can say the same for somebody else. Oh wow! But I said it's too yeah. early for you to be coming How for us. Eh? And since we're talking about the worst dressed in the house, let's talk about the Met Gala. <laughs> Met Gala, zing zing zing. Met Gala twenty four. Um, I did not watch it, but I'm pretty sure you saw the pictures on the social media. Yeah, I also saw pictures on social media. I didn't did really you watch, watch it? it? No, I didn't. I was sleeping. <laughs> I value my sleep to be waking up in the AMs to be watching the Met Gala because obviously I know I'm gonna wake up to a lot of pictures. Mm. But okay. oh, gonna they play in the early hours, ne? Yeah, they were okay. playing American Boy. Remember? Yeah, yeah American I know. Time, South African Time, because mm. you know the first lady complications. I Clearly, there weren't any. But the reason why we're talking about the Met Gala today is because, as a country, again, we were invited to one of the most exclusive parties worldwide, international. And that was because our one and only Tyda took the world by storm by going viral and just touching so many people in so many ways. 
So we got to see her drenched in the Sands of Time theme dress by Beaumont. And, you know, what cracked me is because in the comment sections when we saw the picture, the bag was an actual hourglass. Yeah, yeah, I and saw then, that. And then people are like, oh, Tyler is wearing Days of Our Lives. <laughs> 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 like sent through the hourglass <laughs> so Sana. are the days of our lives mm-hmm. but yeah i just want to say uh this year's make gala we got a very different theme that a lot of people had to interpret it in so many different ways mm-hmm. because i mean like i said tyler just literally went with that like literally the sense of time the dress was also made out of sand and mm-hmm. crystals it was just beautiful like, it was just sculpted on her body who even thinks of that? That's so brilliant, dude. Olivier. Even the concept, even them, like <laughs> the body thing. Oh, guys. Like at first I didn't like it. Why? Because I was like, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't get the theme. Oh, yeah. So every time I looked at the dresses, I'm like, and then the flower girl, what's that like? Oh then, I, then I read the theme. I was like, oh, this is some shit. Because who would have thought of sand? True. Exactly. Look, she got me when they had to cut the dress and make it short. I was like, God damn. Now she can't walk. Now they must cut her dress. That's that what I thing. thought. Because it looked like, nah, I'm an, mm. and then now you're like, oh, the show must go on. Let me go on with it. But it was very literal because it was for the after party. Mm. And I'm just very sad that I didn't get to see like Sleeping Beauty. Now they think Sleeping Beauty. I don't think Who's I saw. That? Sleeping Beauty, um, as a gay boy growing up, we used to like watch Cinderella's No White okay. Sleeping Beauty. All right. So we were supposed to see Sleeping Beauty, but we got different themes, obviously, because people had to, you know, draw inspiration from so many things. So they didn't have to go for the obvious, which I really appreciated by Doge, Doja Cat, on the other hand. What was the obvious? What's the obvious? Being Sleeping Beauty. Why? Why? Sleeping? Isn't it the, the theme? Garden of what, what? What was the actual theme? Isn't the because theme the garden of... Um, um, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. You can. The theme that him talking about is the theme for the after party. For the after party. Oh, oh the after party. And then the theme for the after party. Mm. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, Type okay. Shape. So, yeah. I mean, my take from the whole entire event, right, is that... I mean, when I looked at the whole entire setup, I was like, oh my God, South Africa, I just, you know, it's about damn time. Mm. I mean, people were beautiful. Everything was just perfect. I'm like, mm-hmm. when or at what point are we going to get there as, as a country? Because, wow, we have international superstars as well in the country. And really, your tireless of this world doesn't really have to only do it in America. They need to do it at home. But where? When there's banner pavement and <laughs> another banner. Give it us, Luna. You don't want to resign <laughs> and let the babies run this thing. But then also, South Africans are very capable of doing this because yeah. there's so many designers. Let's not only look at the designers that we know in public, but also let's take into account that there are other underground designers that are doing absolutely amazing. And some of them, they don't even prefer to be known publicly because they just prefer doing their things, mm. you know, on the low. But as a country, we can really get there. It just True. goes with, do we have people that understand how to get the concept? And if you're given a theme, are you going to go for the obvious or are you going to draw inspiration from different things that are surrounding the actual theme? You know, oh. so it just takes a very good creative mind to get yeah. there because it's not only about fabrics. Mm. I mean, Bullman just proved to us that you don't only need fabric, but you also need sand, crystals. Just get them to be very fine. Put True. that on a dress. Oh, really? South Africa can learn from Netflix. There was a recent event that Netflix did. Bridget People, James. yes, yes. Did you see the pictures as well? Oh my gosh. Did you see the setup? Of course. Damn. That was very beautiful. Damn. It was really, really beautiful. I just wish the guys would also get the memo, you know? Yeah, men just always be wearing suits. Uh, black suit. Black suit. I'm sure. Never be, what were they wearing? Go Met Gala. Were they wearing suits and a flower? Oh, oh they I mean, if colors. we are talking about the best dressed male at the Met Gala, I would have to say it was Bad Bunny. Okay. He was good. What is he wearing? I did not see. No, it's fine. I know where I'm gonna get the outfit. I'm gonna I'm gonna see the outfit on, You'll on see screen. You'll see on the screen. But yeah, he I was check the, out best out the episode. But also with the guys at the Bridgerton event, it just kind of felt like, you know, guys like let's just be wild about this thing, you know? Exactly. And I kind of feel like maybe because a lot of the guys are thinking from a place of the designers are the ones that are going to come up with the concept. But also, don't you think yourself as the person that has been invited to an event and you know you want to make an, a showstopper a a show appearance, stopper. you know? Yeah. You already have a picture in your head. Speak to your, di- your designer. Get that 
idea or that imagination from your head to on paper and see how far you can get with it. But I mean, they tried. It's just that I would give them an E for an effort, but I'll just give them an A for a Ford. Oh, wow. Oh, oh shit. The way in which you threw you, you throwing bums. Actually, that's not right. You're in your villain <laughs> era with your leather jacket exactly. and your shades. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm just... I take this thing serious, guys. Yeah, I know. Like, you're always so passionate. True, true, <laughs> true, true, true. He's a fashion designer. Great. Oh, you are? Where this was he great. when we were supposed to unpack SA Fashion Week? When we were supposed to unpack... I ask him. Exactly my How point. <laughs> Metro FM Awards. We yeah, had a lot to say problem. about it. Ciao. But I mean, this is great. I mean, we're still going to have other events that are going to have fashion, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah, yeah. the fourth seat will be featured. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, so that was great. The Bridgerton as well as the Met Gala, you know, nothing disappointed me. I can't say I'm really sad. Uh, but Ni Nigeria outdid us on the Nigeria Bridgerton. Nigeria will forever outdo Woo! you guys. The gamuts. Don't get it twisted, Nigerians. Whoa, yeah. The gamuts were out of this world. They were beautiful. They really understood the theme. And also yesterday there were awards in Nigeria. I just didn't get a... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. Actors, something, was it Africa, AMVC. What, what is it? What does it stand for? What is for? it about? Oh, they celebrate music. Oh, everything. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah. I so mean, they basically celebrated the, the, the art space in Nigeria. But also, uh, the okay. outfits. Yo. Oh, the outfits. Oh. The outfits. There was another woman. I just, I forgot her name. But she did something that was brilliant, which is to show that people have so many faces and then she just had different faces on her head. That was beautiful. Uh, producer, find out what's, what's the name of that girl. Anywho. Anyway, <laughs> let's move. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Let's move. Who do you guys want to talk about? I want to talk about Mpo. Oh, yeah. R.I.P. 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 Mpo. Loose. R.I.P. Bro. Shame, man. What a talent. But let's get into uh, the yes, details. What, a what talent. exactly? Before we get into the details, can we just really take this serious moment? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just give him a moment of silence. Okay. Is it silence? It's been oh. five seconds already. Because it deserves a longer silence. But my thing is, I want to get oh into the nitty gritties. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now let's talk about it. You are unruly. <laughs> there is a girl on the ultimatum who said a hot rat, but we'll get into that. Oh, oh wow. No, uh uh, wait. I'm not, I'm not saying that. Okay, guys. Anyway, guys, in I think someone is tired. Wait, what? Do you need a nap? <laughs> no, I wasn't saying anyone is... Like, a... you've been choosing violence the whole yes, day. Girl. I wasn't even done with my Allow sentence. Allow him, it's fine. I wasn't done with my sentence. I said, that lady said a hot red, which we are going to get into because that behavior was just really uncalled for. What behavior? The behavior of her, of her calling okay, the other okay. people that word. All right. Mpo, guys, drinking and driving. Was he drinking and driving? Well, well, according to a statement that was made by his friend who spoke at the memorial service, he did say that they were chilling, they were having an amazing time, and the agreement was that no one is going to drive because they were far, they were in flag stop. But Mpo drove after whatever that was happening and resulted in an accident. Allegedly, though, because I'm not the 500 tower. Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't really get much details into what really had happened. Yeah. I think for me, personally, the reason why I didn't really focus on getting the cause of death is because when I heard about it, it really rocked me because I'm just like, what? Because nobody was expecting it. I mean, True. I got to know it was at night when I got to know about it. And I was even driving. I think I was with Karabo. And that's when he showed me. And the thing is, um, I have a friend who is a friend to Mpo, you know, yeah. and the first thing I just thought of is we were just having a conversation about Mpo a week ago, and now this is what happened. It's very wild, and I guess this is something that we always preach, right? I remember when I also bought my first car, Big Jess said to me, don't you dare 
drink and drive. Mm-hmm. And now I can actually, you know, uh, see what she was saying because, goddamn, I mean, how many times also does this has to be preached? And also, how many times do we really have to go through this for people to learn the lesson? Because clearly, it's not it. It's not supposed to be happening. It's people just think I could never happen to me. I could never happen to me. I've driven drunk before. Are we careful? You don't know. And every day, it's a different day, if you're being honest. Mm. Especially on the road. I it's mean, sad, man. He was young. True. And you super know, talented as well. Super talented. Ah, uh, loose guys. He was such a sweet, sweet gent. Like, even in high school. He was the he was the actor kid in high school. He has basically been, you know, the kid. You look flabbergasted. What's happening? <laughs> I don't look flabbergasted. I'm sorry. It's just that, ish, you know, guys. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. I think right now more than ever, the reason why I don't really or I'm not actively participating in this conversation is because I kind of felt like this year has taken a lot, you know? You what? Yeah. This year has taken so much. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I don't know. Like something also happened at home yesterday. My grandmother's not a gay and hey, I think man. I just live in fear every day of losing death, someone. You know? Yeah. And it doesn't matter if the person is like related to me or close to me, but just understanding that when death happens, it just shifts how you think and how you take life in general. True, true. I mean, especially, these are people that are close to us, right? So I, I hear where you're coming from. Mm. Hear where you're coming from. But anyway, we're not here to stop with me. Um, It is entertainment, but yeah. also, yeah, it's, it's very unfortunate. This thing happens every day, you know? And it's true what you're saying. A lot of people will tell you that mm, I've driven drunk before, so nothing is going to happen. But also, I think, for one, I see on my statuses every day, people saying, be careful of a car. A car is very dangerous, you know? Mm. No, it is. In as much as you're on the road, never mind your car. If it's a German car, whatever car, it doesn't necessarily have to take you to understand that, oh, I have this car that can perform with so much speed for you to start mm. doing that thing on the road because we have speed limits for a reason. True, true. And it's to avoid because... One accident on a highway can cause Yo. so many lives. Uh, one thing that someone once told me is that whenever you get into uh, the car, whenever you get on the road, you're not only responsible for your life, you're responsible for other people's lives as well. So you need to make sure that, you know, you, you drive very carefully. It's crazy how we trust each other on the road, hey? Yeah. Very crazy. Then very why, crazy. Why can't we trust each other in relationships as well? Are we ready for that <laughs> conversation? Ah. La feba. Give me a Lina, you say. Anyway, <laughs> since we work about yo. I can't say that word. But since we're talking about such people, the premiscuous people, let's talk about what I was talking about, the ultimatum essay. Oh. Guys, I haven't watched the show. Why? Fill me up. Okay. I'm busy. I'm making money. <laughs> 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 Haraboy. Mm. But yeah, um, we have the ultimatum, which yeah. happens globally in different parts of the world. And they decided to bring it home. So we have the ultimatum South Africa, which is currently trending. Is it trending? Or As a franchise? It? Yeah, it is a franchise. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the show is like, um, you know, those couples who've been dating? Mm-hmm. They've been dating. Exactly. So the other yes. one is like, dude, we've been dating for too long. You either marry me or I move on. Yeah. So you go to the show. We get there. We get to know each other's partners. Mm-hmm. And then after three days or so, you choose who you want to be in a trial marriage with. You're going to live with them for three weeks. Okay. And then after those three weeks. You're so excited by this. <laughs> <laughs> after those three weeks, you go live with your original partner okay right. and then after those three weeks with your original partner you decide if they decide if they're going to ask you to marry them or not or they're going to marry the person that they met they spent the three weeks with okay right something that i want to understand so you spend this three weeks with with a stranger basically right mm-hmm. so what happens in the process in that three weeks it's what do you guys happens? do, do it's, you it's what do you you, filana you are there filana. for three weeks you are in a trial marriage so you are married to each other you are husband and wife and you stay in your own house whatever you do is just up to you whether you want to kiss make it deep fall pregnant it's just up to you just 
do what you want to do as a married couple. But that's crazy. Then you have to come back to me after 30 weeks. Yeah, it is. A and test. I have to live with the fact that you are with someone for 30 weeks and most probably you guys did Yeah, I know, man. The experiment is basically for you to see what you lack through someone else, like apart from your partner. You know, so I need to work on this, that, yeah. da, 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 da. But you're still getting to know the other person better, so... But uh, when when we're being realistic, guys, I mean, when you come back, what happens to trust issues? That's I mean, already I've, you know, I have everything or I've built something in my mind that most likely they did one, two, three, four, five in this three weeks. Yeah, you need to have the important conversations. Like as we were watching, we just kept saying, why are they complaining? Did they not know that this is a possibility? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, come on, you know what you signed up for. Do you think... All this nyash, someone's gonna sit, sleep next to this nyash and not touch it. And not touch what it. What are you talking about? Or not tap it. Guys. You understand? <laughs> I but was it's told, sad though. <laughs> I was told that anus thing is possible, so they wouldn't. What? Anus thing is possible. <laughs> You're fucking okay. dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to. But I mean, when I look at the ultimatum, for me, it's just trust. It, it goes with a lot of trust, you know? Mm. Because I... I mean, you saw how Aiden was moving in the house. Yeah, that... Saved no, from a lot of things. Others were, like, kissing each other. Others did it um, way worse than that. That's only because it was not a white girl. Yes, I was about to say. We only had two. Or... One, one couple, yeah. actually. Or, like, the lady wasn't his type. It wasn't. You get what I'm saying? It really wasn't. Because from, from the first... Uh, as soon as we say about someone together, it's like, we're going to be good friends. He's just sitting it there like, I don't like chocolate. And they, Yeah, and then on the diary. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Mm. Guys, where is this show playing? I want to check it out. It is on, on Netflix. 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 The, the Ultimatum yeah. South Africica. It's no, I'm so gonna, great. I'm going to check it out later. Okay. I haven't finished it yet. Please don't. What's, what's, okay, I'm do not you gonna have say, to talk about that? Yes, I have to. I have to because that is important. That's why the ahead. show had to trend. So obviously, like, like she said, you know, Five cup is it five? Okay, but how many? However, how many couples that were there? Yeah, yeah, you know, they just break up before going into their villas with their new people, and then you know, like they like paired up. So there's this couple, which is Ngateko as well as Kanya. So they are the original couple when they came into the house. Yeah, which you know? I heard that name, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and so they got separated. I, I think Ngateko was with who? He was with Cesar. Cesar Gale, and yeah. then. Kanya was with Isaac, right? These are the people that they... They are in a trial marriage. Three right? different couples. Okay, all right, all right. All right. So, I'm not even Gateko. Gateko, yeah, we'll get to him. But Kanya, on the other hand, you yeah. know, she's a very beautiful lady, you know. She eyed. You know. Like, she's eyed. She was beautiful up until that happened. Yeah, no. Nah, you know, she, she was beautiful, poised, you know, a woman of class. Yeah. Gandhi. She was a woman of class. And then Gandhi when she got into the house Ravish. with Isaac... Mm -hmm. we just got to be exposed to so many layers to this lady or yeah. to her because she wouldn't do the dishes. Isaac would have to be the one to do dishes. When she's being asked, what are you going to contribute to the relationship? Which is a very important like, question. Why? And then she's like, she's contributing what? herself. So she is bringing the herself table. to the table. The slave queen. Uh, she was, wants to be. Oh, she wants to be. Oh, yeah. She would love <laughs> to be. Okay. So <laughs> bad. And then... <laughs> And then also, okay. apart from that, she's very arrogant in the sense that she thinks she can dictate or control what Ngatekwa does with whoever. So yeah. in her own world, in her own delusional world, she's the only woman for Ngateko. God damn. And so Ngateko was happy with Caesar because Caesar kept the traits that she has is the traits that he's looking for in mm. a woman. And when they had when they were on a video call with Ngatego's mother, Ngatego's mother seemed to gravitate more towards Caesar than to Kanya because mm. she had a lot to say about Kanya be, not being not yeah, yeah, yeah. a good person, you know? Woo. A person that is very she's selfish she's very arrogant, and very she's self centered. Yo, See? from your mother in law. From your mother in law. And Imagine. so and so when Caesar tried to go to Nga to Kanya rather, to go <laughs> have a conversation about you know, why is she the way that she is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Yo. then when she got there, before she could even say anything, Kanya just went in on her. She just started calling her so many names, including a hood rat, which mm. I want to talk about because, like I said, 
I saw it a lot on the comment section. A hot red. So we don't want about to a hot red. I meet a happy little hot gay. What are the basically? Yeah, it's like fatty boom boom. And she also body shamed off my porch. Like she's screaming. She's yet like she's crazy. Like she's mental. And then yeah. All because she's jealous. Like she could just communicate. Like baby, I'm so jealous. I feel. How would you? I, I don't even think. She calls and got baby if nothing good is happening because she went to the extent of saying, Go back to your house yeah, where she, you and your she, men are sluts. Yeah. So imagine oh. calling Caesar as well as your supposed boyfriend sluts and you think that's okay. Like Molomahaya Udichila in so many ways that I wouldn't even want. I don't care if you are poised or you have class mm. or you have you just don't call people names like that just because you're entitled to do that. There is nobody who's above anybody in this world. Just because mm. you live a certain way doesn't mean that yeah, when others are doing them, person. they have to live a certain way. So she was just a very disgusting woman. Distasteful. Very, very distasteful. Mm. And mm. even when on the diary, mm. she tried to sound a bit remorseful. That was not remorse. She yeah. was just yeah. doing it because she understands how he's going to appear to the public, which, I mean, guys, let's just be honest with each other from watching the ultimatum. She mm. comes across as an abusive She's partner. the prize. The relationship exactly. is about her. So she has she to be wants. the center of attention in a relationship. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I'm watching these shows to only see one sided part of the story because in a relationship is two people together because we know that we can take care of each other and love each other Correct. and be with each other through no matter what really happens. But in this case, I mean, I get that the ultimatum South Africa tried, but no. Nah. Yeah, I know, because she's, yeah, I know. But that's my thing also, guys. Wherever there's love, there's always going to be drama like that. I mean, you guys have explained the show so much that I have an idea. I know what to expect when when watching it. But my thing is, there's always drama, you know, when coming to love. So I'm not really surprised at all. But well, nah, for the mere fact that we're only talking about one person out of all the cast members of that, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm only addressing this right yeah. now because that is not a way to behave as a human. Mm. Correct. To what other human as well. Like, yeah, because she's shitty, but she has some interesting comebacks. <laughs> Make you oh, it. yeah, no, she, she, she's very entertaining. Don't get me wrong. She oh, is she's entertaining. Because... <laughs> Because now the guy came back, so her trial husband said this girl looks like a gold digger. Why da da da? So Ngati go like her guy mm. comes back like yeah, you're not wife material. Why not? Why not? Why not? You a gold digger? Ying, ying, ying. And she's like, if I was a gold digger, I wouldn't be with you. Woo. And I was like, Ooh. he's like, do you think I would sacrifice and like lower my standards like this? Um, because I'm a gold digger. I'm like, oh, oh I was like, that was cold. So, did they upload the whole entire season or are they uploading Yay. on a weekly basis? I think it's the whole season because, like, I was on episode. In my mind, I'm thinking, who are we getting from that show? Oh, but I was <laughs> Let's get Kanye on the show. You know, yeah. there's there's always reason to how to how she <laughs> reacts and as how to be Fuck hit. you, but can you come to our show? No, tomorrow? listen. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, it's not a matter of me saying fuck you. No, I'm not even saying that. Not even close to that. I am just addressing the behavior that we're seeing on TV. You know? Yo, Fuck you. Oh, my days. No way. What are you guys saying about me? No, but like, now, drug, I would like to hear Lohare. Why, Ali? You know, why did she react? Re- mm-hmm. re- yeah, it's always good to re- find re- out. Re- Hence, I'm saying, I don't want to be part of that interview. Let's all want to say, Kisha, but I guess. Like, sometimes it's only thinking about a chance, you know. She could be a very good person, like a really, really good person deep down. It's just that what we saw on TV was just. She maybe she was really jealous. Like, she was. And also, jealousy yeah, makes you people know, nasty. Exactly. Oh, when last did I hear that? Mm. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Oh, yeah. wow. Continue. Nah, yeah. shame. But overall, it's an interesting show. It is. But mm. for me, like, I wasn't that interested because, you know, the standard of reality shows now, unfortunately, is like the people are hot, 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 hot. Uh, so when I was watching it, I was like, uh, <laughs> we welcome all body types. See? No, I didn't say number of bodies. Oh, hot. Oh, like, looks hot. Yeah, like, you know, there could have been. 
more colors. It could have been Indians, like Khubenje, like a South blend. Africa. Blend, when yeah. are we going to get to a point of understanding that we also need people from, you know, the LGBT choir and such? No, they, they're going to make um the ultimatum queer dish in South Africa. They definitely oh, I don't want to see that. It. I would watch that. Oh, my God. Because the eligibility gang is very entertaining. Drama. It looks like more. Yo, I'm going to be gay. Be gay. Lesbian. Be bisexual. Yo. Hey, what would you want? What would you want? Not literally. Okay. The kid. <laughs> <laughs> what else is on there? Okay, since you called me that, let's talk about Michali airbrushing her face over here. Well, she didn't airbrush Rihanna's, but Shitty she move. only <laughs> airbrushed Guys, wait, Shitty, face. but I get her. <laughs> very, <laughs> very interesting. But, yeah, nah. but as a true, you know, I I battle to come with terms hey. about uh, the whole entire thing. Is it true or is it because generally Michal is beautiful? What's really happening around the story? Because no, the thing is, when you look at the picture and then you zoom into her hairline, it looks very seamless and, you know, we know how airbrush looks like, you know? But then also, I guys, but also, it's okay. Michali and Rihanna, right? Mm. I mean, if I took that picture myself and I saw her, I have a pimple on my cheek, I'm just going to try and pop it up and edit. <laughs> like, just remove it. Can they, I don't see. Why? Why? Uh, and okay. also my thing, you are editing yourself. Yeah, Imagine see. editing someone else and then what if she doesn't them. like uh, exactly it? Exactly, my point. So why have they ever complained? Uh, hey, I can see, be bra, but like, ish, Michelle Lee feel like it's cheap. Like, oh, Michelle is hot. Nah, hot. Like how Emily well. Rihanna saw. It's just like these women are nice. You're not like, wow, Rihanna. You're looking at both of them like, <laughs> wow, ladies, you That's are true. beautiful. <laughs> you know, like a of, shish. A lot of people on social media were saying, finally, Rihanna met Michelle. I'm like, oh, okay. Shit. Also, they've been <laughs> anticipating for no, this. No, no, no. <laughs> finally, Rihanna made Michali. Not Michali finally meets Rihanna. So they're making Michali a bigger, a prettier girl than Rihanna by saying that. I mean, I'm going to dye my hair blonde in June, but I feel blonde. They unfollowed her. Who? Yeah. Um, Michali. She was unfollowed by Fenty Beauty. Why? Maybe that's the why, picture that's where was the taken, allegations come from. The picture was taken from the uh, Fenty Beauty event that happened in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I you get. Know? And obviously, Fenty Beauty is all about skin. So obviously, if you're going to be posting a picture with the founder, or let me just say, if you're going to post a picture that is in connection to the brand and you airbrush your face, it's sort of kind of like conflict of interest. Ay, Mara, that's okay, fucked give, up. You ah, can't that's tell, fucked okay, up. listen. I can't be selling beauty products right like your foundation mascaras you know baking powder translucent powder your <laughs> lip liners you know eyeliners lashes we what else get, we thank you blush <laughs> highlighter <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> i can't be you know i can't be inviting you to an event that has to do with my beauty products and then whole poster here and there what if i want you to like show people how raw we can be as a brand Guys, hey, how long women are in Nepeta? Come on. That's fucked up. Nah, 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 nah. Why did they have to unfollow me, Tyler? What did she do? Because she airbrushed herself after somebody decided to look at the picture in detail. Maybe, maybe and Rihanna was like, intimidated because yeah. I don't really get it. Don't say nah. Yeah. Just because she's Rihanna doesn't mean exactly. it. Doesn't she's human at slowly. the end of the day. Okay, Rihanna was intimidated. That's why it was. The way it was. Nah, don't be condescending about it. I'm telling you, okay, it happens. So we, like, Johanna women don't, uh, regardless of how hot you may be mm -hmm. as a woman, I don't think they actually feel that they're hot. So every time, they still appreciate beauty outside of them. So, like, when you see Mishlali, you're like, God damn. damn let me, I got a let, let shit. Me, let me give you another possibility, right? What if the Navy, right? Caught strays because and Rihanna didn't have anything to say about that, you know, because Rihanna's not the one fighting. But she's old. No, I, I get that, but also. she's not. The, she's not the one fighting. It is her fans that are fighting. So are the fans intimidated by me, Charlie's beauty? Hey, did we take that into they account? Come for us. I did not know these people. Okay. No, nah, they can. We're waiting for them. <laughs> but uh, also, when I give out, have next, yo, anytime, like, ah, it's like, remove MS. <laughs> but from a personal level, for me, I mean, I don't really see what the fuss is about this whole thing. I mean, she just airbrushed True. her hairline. 
just we know and also i mean we do know that a lot of people actually you know uh thrive with within editing their pictures all the time and my thing is she didn't really have to edit the whole entire picture right she edited herself that's sure. what matters the most and rihanna is still the goddess that she's always been exactly and mm, so at why your are they level also exactly. as a rihanna like rishiki sa go hore motho o kentsitse e brush ko snipping ko yena motho o like i but imagine but imagine if it was you what about me he all take pictures he posts the one where he looks good and you look like ass oh would you God. be happy about that <laughs> That's not a literal. Why do you look like us? Dude, <laughs> dude. I just got reminded of that story about the father and the son. Oh, shit. Hijacked. Like, are you fucking sick? Guys, what's happening in our country, really? The, the crime rate is super high. It's not even funny. Are we saying now we, we should have guns to protect ourselves? Because what exactly is happening? It wasn't really so long ago. When the gentleman who is friends with a DJ somebody uh, was shot in Pretoria, now this. What's really happening in our country? I keep telling you this every other week. So what can be the possible solution to us the whole entire thing then? Everyone can go home for five years. We need a That's break right. to fix the country. <laughs> then they can come back. <laughs> like, no, man. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, no. Like the way you live on a reality show. Okay, Mara, what if so meet you like a Omo? No, like, no, guys, like, so the way you live on a tagating, eh? Liko the reality TV show, that's South Africa. You are not about to. Batting emote. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how does it taste? Guys, it's crazy. Guys. Exactly. No, okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Nah, bruh. We spoke about this on the previous episodes. There's a lot of gun violence happening this year in South Africa, you know? And not this year. From, I mean, the past couple of years, it's been crazy. No, I get that. But I'm choosing this year because I've seen it happen consistently almost every week, almost every month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have been talking about this. And the funny thing is, we have artists who are doing that publicly and still we don't see anything different mm. it's still going to be the same thing we're going to be hearing the same things week in week out until something is being done about it but if there's nothing going to be done about it then we might as well just have a segment called who died today yeah but also what could be the solution really because i mean i hear you right and i hear you have a valid point when you say they must go home <laughs> What could be the solution, guys? Because clearly we're in the pits. I some things are just influenced. Like as you guys are speaking, I'm just like, you know, the way music influences the world. Yeah. Anything that sounds cool, someone is gonna try doing it. So the direction in which music is going is just it's just a clear depiction of society as a whole like we all all we care about just listen think of any song that's nice alcohol sex drugs weed whatever violence everyone like that's what the media is like music this is all we hear this is all we know so we practice it in real life and the people who are rapping these things are not living this life and they're not yeah they're definitely. not living this life because I remember there was a thing that came out where Future was like, nah, I don't drink lean. I don't, I'm not a gangster. You know, like he's just saying, it's just music. I'm just sharing a story. But people are actually living that. It's going it's, south. It's mostly rappers, right? Very yep, interesting hip-hop. conversation. Thank you for saying it. I didn't want to yeah. say it because, you know. No, 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 no. Thank you so much for bringing it to my attention. Now, from a hip-hop artist's perspective, uh-huh. what are you then gonna do better i can't do anything better i'm doing it already i've never had to do it any other way my thing is just rap about your real life is that the direction that you also take i think in? shit we had that conversation on the way here yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah i was like in my music i do what everyone else is not doing it's not doing because okay. We can all be gangsters and baddies. I'm not a baddie. Like I'm a, I'm a real nigger, you know. 
So I need to rap. <laughs> You're not a prima donna. I'm a <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I am not. So like just everything, Jay, like the entity ish. I don't even want to get into it, but every good thing has a negative effect as well. True. Like kids look up to celebrities and whatnot. So whatever they're talking about, it's like, okay, let me do that. And I see the power of influence because even in South Africa, we have hip hop artists who speak about things that happen, but it sounds so American. Like I got ops, pull up, papa, we shooting each other. Hey, fuck out here. I'm a real nigga. I'm rich. You know, I'm fucking these bitches. You get what I'm Quick saying? Quick question. What is a nigger in South African terms? A kaffir. Ooh. Ooh. That's the, like, connotative ding, 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 ding. definition, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or denotative. I don't know. But, yeah. But then it's that thing of taking something negative and making it positive. Because white people used to say, nigger, nigger, nigger. And then... The black people took it and made it cool. Like, yeah, I'm a nigga. What's up, nigga? Mm-hmm. So now it doesn't hurt when you say it, but they still get hurt. But the music is Depends fucking the kids up. Hmm? Depends who says it. Hmm. Sure. But yeah, time violence is out there, guys. Too much. It's really, really a lot. And like I'm saying, we're not going to see any change. And we don't have cops. Uh, mm. uh. Mm. We ain't, mm. we ain't got mm. shit, and I'm saying this as someone who has like cops in the family. We don't. You, Alina, my body is alone. It's boshi. Yeah, no, body. I mean, no ways. You guys don't have cops. I can so, also att- attest to that. Hey, because I was in Rustenburg, right? Uh, there's a friend of ours who's also a police officer. Mm. So I was asking him, dude, you grew up in in the hood, right? In our hood, and time and again when I come here, I see. You know, people that I thought they have a future, now they're in drugs. What are you guys doing in in the hood, obviously? Mm. And his response was, we're not doing anything because we arrested these guys. Uh, A day or two later, they are out. Clearly, they have, you know, connections within the the subs as well. So how are we going to win win this? Because that's the conversation that we had. Because also, everything else is developing and improving except like saps like why don't they have login things how it's a case okay it was edited by gift okay it was deleted by jess then you can see okay the docket is missing you were the last person who opened it so you need to know like they can do like if they really wanted to if they were not benefiting from the crime the country would be where it needs to be True. I'm not saying as a country we need to draw inspiration, but since you spoke about niggers in America and now we have South Africans who still use niggers and, you know, all their rap songs are about, you know, how things are being, like, how releasable it is in America and, 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 and. Why can't we also have cops take inspiration from the FBI's or the American police? Because we do have so many mm. crime shows that we watch and, you know, I'd like to believe, Lohar, maybe that's, like, really how things really are. But then also if you're talking from a perspective of drawing inspiration. If we can have those done in, you know, those TV shows that we watch and we have our cops, we have so many resources, right? Mm-hmm. And it just Do seems we? like... Well, no, they crash all the vans. Now there are not enough vans for the cops in the country. Can they leave the long taxi here? Good question. But what they let them away? Maybe Ace of Spades. Maybe Betty. Maybe Slay Queen. But yeah, I, yeah. That's crazy. Anyway, I remembered something very important. Last week I was in Rustenburg at the trendsetters at that site. I really liked you guys. Really? Like I got into a, a pop type of situation and everyone was talking about the podcast that I was like, okay, 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 trendsetters and Rusty Dusty. So why was I sharing? Ah, they, they do, hey. They do now. Ah, look at you being a spokesperson. No, no, no. Yeah. I have to. They do. They do. Hey, they do. They really, really love you guys. I was so happy. The most beautiful trip I've ever had. And I mean, I how heard. was it? How was it going home? Woo! Going home was beautiful. The family was absolutely happy. Oh man! God damn! I've I've never really, you know, came back and felt like wow. I could do that over and over again. Mm. Like, they were super happy. They were really super ho- happy. Almost everyone got into my car. 
That was nice. That's beautiful. Yo, I was driving everyone around. But I came back with a spare wheel because I got a puncher there. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Did you put it in yourself? Yeah, yeah, I had um, to. I'm really proud of you. I'm a man. What do you mean? <laughs> now I know who to call when I get a puncture. <laughs> I was going to call you. Yeah, Dev, because I can do it. Like, I'm basically like my little brother's minion. Everything he can do, <laughs> I can do. It's the look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. What's there to talk about? Okay. Out there? So, Miss Jessie J decided Lahore Otompota, Lahore Kimokenti, or the reality shows. And now she's like binge watching all the binge worthy shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we're gonna be talking about the anticipated reunion of the Real Housewives of Durban season four that is gonna be airing this coming one, actually today <gasps> on Wednesday. Oh, today in the future. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, guys, that was behind the scenes again. <laughs> <laughs> Like I, was I think that's gonna be a zone. new thing. That's gonna be a new thing behind the scenes. <laughs> so yes, today, on the present day, <laughs> sister, and we're gonna be getting another second part on the yeah. next week. And the reason why we're talking about this is because you know what? This year we got a reality show and a half from those ladies. They came in. They brought in the drama. They brought in a lot of things that a lot of people can learn from. But out of all, they invited us into how they live their lives as friends, as mothers, as sisters, and as women of the society. Mm, yeah. I haven't really catched up with the reality <laughs> shows in a very long time. Eh? What's happening out there? Yeah, we have pathological. No, like, yeah, <laughs> nah, man. Um, my thing is I can't really watch it, like watch it because yeah. I'm like... They don't know each other. They're just meeting because everyone in the group needs to organize something to do. Mm -hmm. And they both, they're all housewives or whatever, but they're not friends like that. You can hear it in the little converse, in the little jabs. I'm not your friend, Angwaz. With, with women, I don't know. It's just in those little things. Né? But also, they just mean girls. I loved it. It was so entertaining. But I was like, this is giving high school every episode. No, you are. Uh, nah, 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 it's too much. Cut. Okay, cut, I think cut, cut. for the first time when I started watching The Real Housewives, I was just like, I'm here for the glitz and glam because I know these ladies are rich, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. And as time went by, I got really into reality shows in a sense that I'm not only looking at what you have. Of course, it's important for you to have money. It's important mm. for you to look True. good. And it's important for you to have like really good cars, expensive yeah. cars. But then also... I'm drawn more to the personalities of the ladies, you know. Obviously, I know they're not friends, you know. Some of them, they knew each other from events where they met once or twice or three times. It doesn't mm. really matter. But we are ju they are just literally there for the show and how the show needs to go. So, obviously, it's just like when you just go on a two-week-long trip with strangers that you don't know. You get to form bonds and relationships from that. And alliances. How many seasons alliances. are we? Are we talking about four seasons? Four seasons. Four seasons. Yeah. But you they know, should know each other better by now, I guess. Yeah. The they only spend two weeks together. Yeah? They're on new cast members. Oh, so the new cast new members. cast members. We have Angel, okay. we have Zama, and then we have Amy Thompson. Okay. Oh, yes. Now, I keep forgetting the... I keep mixing the two shows and the names. Oh, not the Mommy Club. The Mommy Club, yeah. The Mommy Club. Keyword, Mommy, mommy. Club. But yeah, no, we're talking about the real house. Oh, house sure. okay, right. Angel is staring the pot. Any little chance she can get, and then she'll apologize. Angel then was just always again. ready to fight. Again. Mm. But okay. I mean, her diaries are hilarious. Yeah, no, it's funny, funny, funny. But yeah, man, interesting. That non cool lady, it was I think she seems to be. Tenacious favorite, by the way, so huh? you need to know what. Don't you... your fave. Huh? Yeah. Huh? When did I've, I say I've, that? I've, <laughs> 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 I've, 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 I've heard him talking about her over and Nunku's over again. entertaining. Yeah, she's really entertaining. Is she not mm. your fave? No, I love her. Okay, let's go back to BGS. Yeah. No, she's she's entertaining. Like every time I just look at her, like. Like an episode would be boring without Nonku. It no, would be the longest episode. Let's talk. Hey, but who's that other one? There's a villain, Yanaman. Who's the other one? Maria. I don't know. Uh uh. Slee. Slee. Wait, how are you saying Slee's a villain? No, man. She's the one who, like, keeps <coughs> being face to face with Nonku. Like, yeah, every, any little chance Definitely she gets, Slee. she's like, how? We are a <laughs> 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 Like, everything's like, how? 
Like she just oh, doesn't no, that care. Was Zama. That Zama. Was Zama. That yes, was Zama. Zama. That was Zama. Zama. She's the villain. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you on that. She was the villain of the season. Yeah, low I, key with it. How was it low key? She just, I, I think Zama really knew how she wanted to move. She already Even the way she speaks. Yeah. Listen, I'm a very decisive person and I already know that this is what I want. And I'm like, oh, put that in my veins, mama. And when mm. they asked her about how she feels about the reunion, she said that she is very, very confident to go in there. She's not scared of anything. She wants to go in there, face the people head on and tell it like it is because there's nothing that she did on the season that she regrets. That's why she is going to be there and not be scared of anybody. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this one is going to go. It's going to be interesting to see how others are going to be fake towards each other by offering each other fake apologies because I know it's going to happen. We are bound to forgive each other like how they forgave each other. And then there was the first episode that they forgave <laughs> each other. And then the second, third episode, that's when you got to see a split of the two groups. And now they were fighting. And then the last episode gave us a lot of drama that had to okay. include kids. <laughs> and it was just like, why are we dragging kids into this? So I'm sorry. I just really know this Bible very well because it is a real housewives of Durban. But we are in it for a feast. For those who love it, because they know if it's all in and all. Yeah, nah, definitely. Because I'm like, hmm, I like Mummy Club more. Mm. Like, I, I went from Housewives mm -hmm. to Mummy Club. And then because of all that high energy, go Housewives. Yeah, when yeah, I yeah. got to Mummy Club, I was like, eh, this is ass. <laughs> and then I kept watching and watching and I started having favorites. I'm like, what is happening to me? Fuck you. Of course. Yes. You, <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> I'm um, happy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Because the thing is, I just watched now. I don't know who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. Yeah. I am taking what I am taking from this season and what this they're showing season. me. So I'm like, okay. Happy is so funny. She is. She's, She's she so is. funny. She like is. her diaries, she always does this. <laughs> the whole very time. funny. Like, and she's Nunurai so as well. funny. Nunurai is oh my god, I love Nunurai. I'm just very sad that she's not going to be coming back for the third season. Nunurai. She's not going to be coming back. No, she's not. Is it I the people her that you're talking about or that they are in our reality shows? No. I actually, I even <laughs> forgot that she, I was actually talking about like the house. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just bringing you up to speed. Is Nunu Roy not from Saudi? She's from Zim. Wait, out of Saudi? Yeah. Saudi. Southie. No. No, no, right. has a stronger. No. no. <laughs> 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 She's from Zim. She's mm. from Zim. That lady was but so funny. Like, I really enjoyed her diaries more than ever. <laughs> <laughs> we do not condone this on the I'm show. I'm joking. It's we just jokes. Not. Stop being a bitch if oh, you're crying at home. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 oh my god, guys, come down. You know my thing it's about called, it's called comedic timing. Not everyone has it. True. And a sense of humor too. <laughs> I wanted to say, uh, I heard you guys talking about reality shows, right? And my thing also is when they're doing this diaries, what always come to mind to me is the reunion. Are you ready to stand up for Everything the you did. And everything that you actually did throughout the whole entire season. The reunion only happens after they've shot after the episodes of Ur Ed. But you know very well that there's going to be a reunion. Yeah, of course. That's why I don't, I really love how they don't hold back on their diaries, you know, because others are even shocked about, oh, damn, I actually said this, mm, you know. You mm. And I'm pretty sure you guys said. can also attest because I, I don't know if it's only me, but every time when we have to drop an episode, I just have to really think about what I said Literally, before it can play. And I'm just like, oh, shit, I wasn't as supposed to say that. As you doing the intro, yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> last week. No, it's like, you think, <laughs> what happened, you know? So, yeah, yeah I get that. I get that. But yeah, she's not going to be coming back. I'm really sad about it. But Shame, then also, I, love Why? I think, did you finish the recent season? Mommy Club. Yeah. I don't know if I finished it or not. There was, well, the last episode that we got, Happy and Mrs. Sunday, they were chasing each other. By oh, is that the last episode? I that saw that. Episode. I was about to say, like, Miss Sunday came in very quiet mm -hmm. and just became a villain. But she's not even being mean like that. I don't think she's the villain. Mm. But she's just like standing her ground and because she got money also, she's just like... Which what? one is that one? Is it the lady who owns colleges? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen she's her before. Like, they didn't finish her this season like either. Thing. Then there's uh, the quiet lady, Nozi. Ah, but you could tell that she's full of bullshit. Okay. Really? From... from yeah. From, from the first episode, she was humble. She she looked kind, but 
Mm. Jay, you could tell that, nah. I couldn't tell. I, I even forgot I know. she was there at some point. When I saw her, I was like, yes, this was a good cost. True. Because True. you can see it from the get-go. And I love the fact that she took us to the aesthetics clinic. What else happened in there? She was getting her nose done. Oh, that was, just oh, okay. that was okay. when you watch it, weren't you like? Mm. I was like, I'm never doing that shit. Yeah. It looked painful, even though it wasn't painful. But, but also, I think my nose is fine. Do I have to change it? No. I was fine. coming there. What What do you guys want to fix when you guys have money? Um, I would like to have small boobs. <laughs> I'm going to buy my six packs. Not going to a gym. BBL Drizzy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to fix on your butt? My name. No, I think I'm perfect, you know? I don't think I have anything to fix. Why are you looking at me like that? I, I thought you'd like your knees and be tall or something, but you are quite I'm, tall. I'm very tall. I even hate he it is, sometimes. But you, you said to me, Madonna, it. you want to go to Turkey. Oh my God, I, I'm a row uh, in. No, no. You know, if, if, there's, if, <laughs> if there's one thing I'm really happy about, I, I'm, okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> like I said, if I am to get or change anything, which I hope I don't do, but it'll be me removing two ribs from each side. Why? Because I want to have... Fail. Be, like, no, I just want to have a small waist because right now my waist is a bit fat. Sometimes when I touch it, I can... He's such a, he's such like, a dick. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, dickhead. Wait. No, like, I I'm serious. Guys, <laughs> guys, I want y'all to sympathize with me. Before this, I used to be a twink. And right now, I'm like a bear. You know, what and bear? God damn. Imagine being I'm chased bear. by a bear. <laughs> I really need I'll to go to the gym, <laughs> <laughs> but I seriously need to go to the gym, shed a few kgs, and then go for my surgery <laughs> so that I have the waist that I want. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dot Trans. It's your boy, the one and only donation. <laughs> no ways. Ah! <laughs> no. no, you can't see that. You are perfect, bro. Yo, you're perfect. I am. Bro. I am. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I would only remove two ribs from me. <laughs> what do you know? Oh, like, I'm perfect. <laughs> no, but honestly, I would just remove the two ribs from each side. Uh, uh, uh. I have my dream waist <laughs> right now. Like, <laughs> and I don't like that. Yo, my God. Yeah, no. It's, 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 it's nothing hectic. Yeah, it's like crazy. They just right here. Very, very, very. <laughs> So yeah, that is that. But crazy. It was a good season. What did also, you change? Huh? Who? What? You. Me. Me, I'm going to buy six packs. I'm not oh, going to buy Oh, it's a BBL. Yeah. BBL Trusse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, Kerry, um, Kendrick was dissing Drake saying because he got abs through like surgery. So yeah. oh, it's a BBL Drizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so in a man, BBL Gibby. BBL, I would do my two K. But do I'm a two K? Anyway, so high. What do you have? What What do you have? That you we, can still chop before we have it. that on record. <laughs> oh shit! What? Yeah, we do have it on record. No, it's fine. We're podcasting here. Are we really? Anyone Let's talk about Master KG what, quickly. Those Everyone who's we can do what we us. want. Exactly. Like, it, wasn't it a song by Miley Cyrus? We can't stop. It's our party. We can do. What yeah, we want like we can do what we want. How True. crazy is that? That's too much power. No one is gonna tell us anything. So let's tell. Yeah, let's talk about somebody who had to tell other people about how shitty the other record company was. Master KG. What happened? What happened? I feel like this week has been a blur. Like I've yeah, just it's been <laughs> the whole week. Also, there's been a lot happening. So he was actually complaining about. He was what? He was complaining. Oh. About how I thought, selfish. I heard he was sexually complaining. Hey. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I heard him correct. How are you guys hearing what you hear? I was like, wait. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh. He was actually complaining about. Oh, how yeah, yeah. I, I get it now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Hare, 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 hare. That's right. Yeah. He is complaining mm -hmm. that open mic uh, are very selfish. Benzing. It's it's been a lot, man. Uh, there are a lot of artists that were under open mic and that has always complained. Makazi, for example, at some point was complaining about money, royalties, and all that. So basically, the conversation revolves around uh, around money. But we also know, right? This is not the, the the first movie to see in South Africa. It's been happening, you know. It's always record companies versus oh. artists. So Master KG is also going through that path as well with open mic. 
Paige as well also left at some point because of uh, the whole entire saga. Doesn't isn't Master KG moneyed? He is, is he it? is. But, like, but money is never enough. Never. But also, if you rob, you gonna wanna speak out. Mm. Shame. I don't know, man. I'm just like. At least you have money. Like, I wonder if it was like a young artist, Tana next, then no more. But it's still bad, you know. But I'm just it like, is. take them to court. I don't think at money. this point it has to do with money. It just has to do with the record company and how their procedures are and how they are mm. treating their artist. Because, you know, if Master Kenji can do this, if Makazi can also do this, I mean, we have two people that came forward to complain about the this same thing. The mm. cash cows. You know? Yeah. Oh, my God. What's a cash cow? Someone who makes money. Yeah, they yeah. were making the money. <coughs> oh. And I heard that from Doja Cat. Sorry. Okay. Mm. But yeah, you know, it, it, it is alarming because it's giving what Ambitious did. Exactly. Hence, I said it's always, you know, record Black companies. people. I love working with black people. But, you know, black people, like, we're always just trying to rob each other, bro. We're not taking care of each other. We're not taking care of each other. I need to be a better black than you. So if it means I need to betray you and get your money i'm gonna do that because okay. also we're not we're not always well versed and educated in everything we do that's what he said really verse uh. oh <laughs> that's too many as in please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe <laughs> thank you for watching our show see you next week we're out of the building <laughs>